Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hancock, and today I want to talk to you about a, a technique that I developed a few years ago when I was feeling very stressed, very miserable. I had young children, I was trying to juggle work, and marriage, kids, and expat living after my mother and mother in law had died, and everything was just intense. And um, I didn't have the headspace to think about how to think positive. I didn't have the headspace, headspace to even think about anything. All I could think about was getting through the day and dealing with the hundred million things I had to do each day. And I knew that uh, I reached a point in my marriage and in my life where I knew that I had to tackle this. I was just miserable. And I felt that this just wasn't a life worth living. And I knew I had to tackle it. So what I started to do was I decided to um, think about when I was last feeling happy. And as I thought back, it sort of occurred to me that the happiest day of my life was my wedding day. And even though my husband and I were arguing um, a lot, it, it still was the happiest day of my life because it signified a whole new chapter for me and um, my um, a, a very, very deep dream of mine to become a mother and also having met um, a partner who I felt was very much connected to me. And, um, and it just signified a whole, a whole new sort of chapter of my life. And it was a very, very happy day. I remember feeling every positive, high vibrational emotion that you can possibly feel you know, from gratitude at having finally met someone and being able to have my children, to um, excitement, obviously, because it was my wedding day, to, um, to immense love for my friends and family who joined us on that day, to you know, even like the enthusiasm of the wonderful meal and champagne that we had to drink that day. I married an Italian, and um, they are known or famous for their very, very long lunches, especially their wedding lunches, which are... Um, around can be up, up to 14 um, courses long ours was seven so it was you know, as you can imagine it was a wonderful day and even though it was in February and it was snowing on the the day of our wedding it actually was incredible sunshine and um, you know, it was just a very happy day and you can see as I'm talking about it you know I, I still keep thinking about this day so once you have um so if you think back to when, you know, what was your happiest day, whatever it, whatever it may be, what was your happiest day? And just imagine, you know, just imagine all those wonderful feelings and euphoria <clears throat> that you felt that day. And as you're thinking about it, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll probably start to feel brighter. Your eyes may start to shine like mine are. And for me, I started to feel it in my body. And of course, this is where we feel feelings. And in particular, I started to feel it around my heart. So I want you to focus on your heart. Focus on these warm feelings that you have in your heart. And as you're feeling them, gradually feel them radiating out of you. And this is what I did. I realized as I was thinking about my wedding day, I was feeling my wedding day too. And it suddenly occurred to me that I didn't actually have to try and think positive because thinking, feeling works in a feedback loop. So by thinking positive thoughts, I was creating a positive feeling in my body. And because I was so busy and stressed and um, you know, just trying to get through the day, as I said before, what I started to do was just, I just basically went straight to the feeling. I forgot about the thinking. I didn't even think about the positive thinking anymore because as um, we understand, we don't actually use our conscious mind long enough to be able to rewire our brain with our conscious thoughts. So we need to start rewiring our, our brain, our mind with our subconscious thoughts where we operate from 95% of the time or around that. So as I focus more and more on feeling, I essentially just every time I started to feel stressed or fed up or knackered or exhausted or I just wanted to just, you know, just give it all up. Um, and obviously you can't give up being a mother. Once you're a mother, you're a mother. So I had to you know, get myself 
back back on track um, several times a day. And every time I felt like this, I just homed in again on these warm feelings inside. And the more I started to feel them, the better I started to feel. And then suddenly it dawned on me one day that I wasn't feeling so bad. Before I had been feeling really negative. I had really got myself into a very half glass empty mindset, which really wasn't who I I am at all. And um, I think it probably in around three months, I started to feel better. And I just focus more and more on this positive feeling, these feelings from the heart, radiating out these positive feelings. And um, life just started to change and it started to feel better. And I was so amazed at this that I started to research it. And this is actually what then led to my now book that's coming out soon and also to the change in my business as well. So But it all started here. It all started with this positive feeling technique, which I, you know, I want to pass on to you because it really has changed my life. And I really want it. Well, I hope that it will change your life, too. If you're feeling fed up, you're exhausted, maybe you've got young children, you're trying to run a business, you're feeling stressed, then just focus on feeling these feelings, these warm, comforting grateful, loving, high vibrational feelings as many times as you can during the day. And there's no right or wrong. Sometimes I forget, sometimes I do it five times a day. Just keep doing it as often as you can. And then eventually this feeling that you have, the feelings that you have in your body, it will eventually rewire your brain and it will lift you. It will lift you to a more high vibrational state of being yourself. And I'll talk about this more in later episodes. But today, I just wanted to share this with you today. Okay, so I hope that helped. Please always, you can reach out to me on whenever you want to, um, if you want to ask questions and or my website, which is elizabethhancock.com. And you can email me on elizabeth at elizabethhancock.com. And that's Elizabeth with an S, not a Z. Okay, so for now, take care. Thanks very much. Bye.